Imagine sandcastles. Now picture them morphing into sprawling forests. No, this isn't your latest dream sequence or a sci-fi plot twist. It's about our planet's deserts, and they might just be gearing up for a major makeover. Hold on to your cacti folks, because we're venturing into the world of terraforming deserts. And let's just say, things are about to get a whole lot greener. First up, what's with all the desert talk? Well, here's a quick sand bite for you. One third of the Earth's land surface is desert. That's a lot of sand, sun, and lonely tumbleweeds. While they might be the perfect backdrop for that Wild West movie you've been scripting in your head, deserts are also significant players in the global climate. With rising global temperatures, expanding deserts are threatening to swallow up fertile lands, turning them into sandy wastelands. But what if, instead of letting the deserts play, king of the hill, we turn the tables and bring life to these barren landscapes? Enter the audacious dream of terraforming. Now, if you think terraforming is about forming a terra dance group, think again. It's the process of transforming environments, making them habitable or, in this case, arable. It's Mother Nature's makeover on steroids. The Sahara, for instance. Yep, that vast expanse of dunes and more dunes. With its brutal heat and shifting sands, it might seem like an unlikely candidate for a facelift. But what if we told you, beneath those sands lie the seeds of its own salvation? Literally. Certain parts of the Sahara have ancient riverbeds running beneath. And where there's an old river, there's usually old, well, everything else. With the right nudge, we might just reawaken a dormant ecosystem. Picture this. The once desolate Sahara dotted with oases, green patches, and maybe, just maybe, a thriving community or two. But how do we kickstart this sandy revolution? One word, water. Easier said than done, right? But humans, being the ingenious species we are, have a few tricks up our sleeve. From building solar-powered seawater greenhouses that turn salty ocean water into freshwater, to constructing vast networks of underground pipes to channel water from distant sources. We're talking about a complete desert irrigation system, the Sahara's very own sprinkler party. However, a sprinkle of water isn't enough. We need vegetation. Planting hardy, drought-resistant plants can not only stabilize the shifting sands but also pave the way for more complex ecosystems. Think of them as the opening act for the grand show of a transformed desert. But hang on to your hats, because here comes the curveball. By turning parts of the desert green, we could create a feedback loop. More vegetation means more rainfall. And more rainfall means, you guessed it, more vegetation. It's like setting off a chain reaction of green goodness. Before you get carried away with dreams of forested deserts, a word of caution. While turning deserts into fertile lands sounds peachy, there are potential pitfalls. Messing with natural ecosystems, even those as harsh as deserts, could have unforeseen consequences. Sandstorms, altered weather patterns, or even a backlash from desert critters not too pleased with their changing habitat. So, should we go about playing the desert's personal stylist? While the prospect is tantalizing, it's vital we tread lightly, understanding the implications of our actions. After all, it's one thing to dream of a greener world, but quite another to ensure that dream doesn't turn into a nightmare. Terraforming deserts might be the big, bold move our planet needs. Or it might be a journey fraught with challenges. One thing's for sure though, the future of our sandy stretches promises to be anything but dry.